What's up everyone? In this video I want to talk about one of the most popular color grades called the orange and teal look. Also referred to as the blockbuster look due to its popularity in Hollywood films and more recently I've seen on YouTube that this look is being called the Sam Calder look from the YouTuber Sam Calder who often uses this grade in his travel videos. Now the reason this grade is so popular is because it creates contrast. Not contrast of exposure, but rather color contrast. Orange and teal are complementary colors, which means they are opposites. So they look good together and contrast one another. This look is essentially achieved by pushing blues or teals into the shadows and oranges or yellows into the highlights. But why the colors orange and teal? Couple reasons. Number one, skin tones sit somewhere in the orange spectrum of the color wheel. So oftentimes colorists will push blues into the shadows to help skin tones stand out from the rest of the image, creating contrast and helping the audience better focus on the subject. This also helps create depth to your image, but instead of using a shallow depth of field or different exposures of light, you are using color contrast to separate your subject from the background. The second reason is that not only are teal and orange opposites on the color wheel, but they have the highest contrast between their exposures out of all the other complementary color combinations. Another reason could be that the colors orange and teal replicate golden hour, which is the prettiest time of day as the sun casts warm orange light against a blue sky. Now it can be a bit tricky color grading this look into your footage, so I've been on the hunt for a good LUT or lookup table, which is basically a color grading preset. And I recently found a bundle that I really like that makes it easy to achieve this orange and teal look without spending a lot of time grading. I provided a link in the description of this video where the LUTs can be downloaded. It does cost about $27, but I've worked out a deal with the creator of these LUTs so that all full-time filmmaker members can get 20% off but I'm now going to walk you through how to install LUTs into Premiere Pro and then show you how to apply the LUT to your footage for a quick and easy orange and teal color grade. So once you've downloaded your LUTs, you can load them into Premiere by searching for Premiere Pro in your finder. Find your Premiere Pro folder, then right click on the Premiere Pro application, click on Show Package Content, then click Contents, Lumetri, LUTs, and finally Creative and then go ahead and drag your downloaded LUTs into this folder. Now you'll notice that with this purchase, you also get instructions on how to load these LUTs into Final Cut Pro X, After Effects, Photoshop, Lightroom, etc. So it's not just limited to Premiere Pro. But now that your LUTs have been loaded into Premiere, go ahead and open up Premiere and the LUTs can be accessed by going to your effects panel, adding the Lumetri effect to your clip, then go into the Creative tab and toggle down the Looks where you'll see your options of LUTs to choose from. Now, depending on your footage and the exact style you're going for will depend on which LUT would be best to start with. But so far from this bundle, I've found that two of my favorites are the Brown Aqua RMN Main 2 and the Teal and Orange RMN HD. Now, it's important to note that LUTs aren't a drag and drop and you're done type of thing. They still require tweaking for each individual clip since no two clips have the exact same exposure or color. So make sure to go through and fine tune each clip. To give you an idea of how these LUTs look and how I fine tune them, here's an example of me applying the brown aqua LUT to my kawaii footage. Notice how the sky becomes more of a teal color rather than blue. And anything else that's in the shadows will also have a blue tint to it. And everything that's in the highlights will now have an orange or yellow tint to it. Now for lush green landscapes like this, this may not be the best grade to apply since it will make your greens look more dull and orange. But it is ideal to use when you have humans in your shot. For example, look at this shot, how this grade makes her pop out from the background as it dulls all the colors around her. By doling all the colors to appear either orange or teal, it makes those things that are orange or teal stand out the most. And since skin tones usually sit somewhere in that orange spectrum, that means it will help your subject stand out. Here's a few more examples of how this grade makes the sky and the water stand out more while doling all other colors like green and making skin tones pop out. And with each LUT, you can control the intensity of the look and then make fine tune adjustments by using the temperature and the tint and saturation until you achieve the look that you're going for. Now because this clip was too warm to begin with, I had to bring my temperature down and my tint up a little to make the colors look more natural and then brought my saturation down a little as well. 
So again, don't expect the LUT to do all the work for you. You still need to fine tune each individual clip. Now, my intensity is all the way up to 100 on all of these clips so you can see the difference better. But depending on the clip, you may want to bring down that intensity when applying these LUTs. Also, a quick side note, these shots were all shot using a standard profile for a very vibrant and contrasty image straight out of camera. But for best results, if you are planning on using LUTs, it's best to shoot in a flatter picture profile because this will help you retain more dynamic range and overall detail so that when you apply your LUT, you have more control over your image. So there you have it. That's the orange teal or blockbuster or Sam Colder look, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully this gives you guys an easy way to achieve the look without spending a lot of time in post. There's over 30 different LUTs that come with this purchase. So play around with them and see which ones you like best. Or there are hundreds of other free and paid LUTs out there that can give you hundreds of different variations of this look and other looks. It just comes down to deciding which looks and LUTs you think work best for the story you're trying to tell. So feel free to share any other awesome LUTs you find in the comments below. But that's it for color grading using the orange and teal LUT. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more free content and to learn more filmmaking tips. Click over here for a free hour-long filmmaking training. And if you have any further questions, please let me know.